Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to My Little Sister, kind of like a bonus episode, because I wanted to go back and I wanted to um, just basically try and find two other endings that I believe there is in the game. I wasn't happy with the way things um, left off, so I've played around with one and um, basically found out what I needed to do. So I'm going to show basically how I do one. I think I know how to do the second as well. But um, we'll see. So I'm just going to skip dialogue because I want to like do this as quickly as possible. What I didn't do before was I didn't go down this side here. And there is a bobby pin. So that's going to allow us to get into the locked door um, of Zombie's bedroom. Okay, I'm going to talk to the noodle lady. Um, we're going to go down here to Mom. And um, we're going to take Mom's shovel, which will allow us to get the butcher's knife. And then once we have the butcher's knife... We need to do two things with it. And then the first action is going to be to go and get Mum's heart. So like I said this is the ending that I like know of and the one that I've already like worked out myself. Okay, so then we use the knife again. We don't actually get a prompt here, but I kind of just tried using the knife on the noodle lady and um, yeah seems to work so um, yeah I'm just going to skip through this dialogue basically we're asking uh, if we can play a true for, game of truth for dare and we find out that the noodle lady is actually um, Lucia but zombies I'm just about to tell, tell us nope you're lying again so we're going to find out in a minute I'm Lucia, Sombria's consciousness. So yeah, it's not really a um, an actual person. So then we continue playing a bit of Truth or Dare. We say we're so different because we were joined with our mother, but now that our mother is dead, um, personality is basically going to change back to its stupid self. Because our mum's spirit was infused with us, and then she died, and we failed to break the loop. And then she does a dare. Uh, basically, we tell her a secret. And we kill her. I dare you to listen to my little secret. I think we do actually tell her a secret. I think it's just basically a way that we could get closer to a stabber. So now that we've done that, we can actually get... So never use the screwdriver. I'll take it. What the screwdriver is for? Maybe for like a secondary. Um, but now we can use the bobby pin to get into Zombie's bedroom. And basically, we say she's gone, and um, that she told us. And I think at this point, Zombie thinks we're gonna kill her. But instead, she decides she's just going to go to bed because everything is over, including the story. Alright, so I'm just going to let everything else play out. Uh, so, enjoy.
Can you guess what's in the cereal that she's eating? That would be me.
and there we go guys so there is actually two variations to this ending um i've realized that it depends on whether or not you take um mom's heart if you cut mom's heart out this is the ending that you get um, if you don't, you actually get a bit different dialogue. You don't get the reference to the Crunchy Heart cereal. Because obviously you're not eating mom's heart is what she's doing. Um, and then there is different dialogue kind of like in the diner and at the end there. But if you do get the heart, uh, this is the ending you get. And there is a, another kind of bit after this. So we'll play out the credits and we'll watch the extra bit, assuming it does appear. And then I'm going to actually go back. I'm going to see if um, not killing the noodle lady and just going into Zombie's room does anything different. Because I thought originally that's what the different ending was, but I've come to realize it was all about the heart and I've sat through both. Um, and if that's the case, then I don't think I will repeat this whole um, dialogue again. But um, yeah, we'll play out the credits, watch the extra bit at the end, and then I will go a hunting. So uh, stick with the guys. We'll pick it up again real soon. Okay, so I have been back. I have got the knife. Uh, I'm not going to go get Mum's heart this time. I'm just going to see if I can do anything by going upstairs here. I'll take the screw screwdriver just in case I need it. There must be something I can use a screwdriver for, but... Okay, we can go in here. Oh, different ending. Well, I guess that just creates the loop then. So I actually make that four endings. I was, I was, I referenced the, the developer last night after I kind of got like the bed ending, and um, it was like, yeah, there's multiple endings, three different endings. But I kind of make that four if depending on whether or not you cut out Mum's heart or not, because you do get different dialogues and a slightly different ending um, based on that. So. Um, but yeah, if we go and just kill zombie, then that just um, keeps the loop going, I guess. And um, yeah, as I thought. But um, okay, I will um, cut it here for now. And uh, when the credits are finished, if there is anything else, I will be right back. All right, so that is the bad ending. It actually tells me that it is the bad ending. 
there anything else going on up here? It's quite distracting to the player, though. The fact that to get the good ending, you have to kill the noodle lady. That's going to be it. Um, but, but when you kill the noodle lady, there is no um, exclamation mark icon like there is with everything else in the game. Um, but yeah, I guess that kind of makes it a bit hidden. But guys, that is my big sister um, with all of the endings we didn't find on stream. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'll be back real soon with some more content. But until then... See ya.